In this video, we'll talk about the solubility of gases in water. So first, let's take a look at a graph of how the different gases dissolve in water. So here's our graph, and it shows that all of these gases, they're soluble in water, and they're going to dissolve in water. We have NO, here's O2, oxygen, which is soluble in water. Down here we have nitrogen, soluble in water, methane, and so on. So all of these will dissolve in water and they'll change. Their solubility will change depending on the temperature. In general, as the temperature increases, the solubility, it's going to go down. But let's take a look at how those gases get into the water in the first place. So here's our water. We have the H2O. The red is the oxygen, the little white, they're the hydrogen. So here's our water. And water molecules, they have something called hydrogen bonding. So they kind of stick to each other. They're attracted to each other. Then we have air up here. The blue, that's N2, nitrogen gas, makes up about 78% of air. And then there's the O2, the oxygen, that makes up about 21% of air. Then we have some other trace gases. So all of the molecules here, they're moving around, they're in constant motion. And eventually, this one molecule here, this nitrogen, it just kind of randomly makes its way into the water between the water molecules. We can say now that it's dissolved in water. Conversely, it could work its way back out of the water. So we have this kind of equilibrium of gases entering and leaving the water. But we have gases dissolved in the water. Let's take a look at a simulation of what happens when the water heats up, though, how that affects the solubility of these gases. So we have this container here. We're going to add some water molecules to the container. And then let's add some nitrogen. Let's put three nitrogen molecules. So right now it's static, nothing's happening, but we know that in nature, in the real world, these are always moving. So let's do that. Let's get them moving. So here they are, and you see the water molecules, they kind of stick to each other. You'll see some green lines between them. Those are the hydrogen bonds that hold the water together. The blue, the nitrogen, they're dissolved in the water. Every once in a while one leaves. Watch what happens though when we increase the temperature. So we increase the temperature here. And look how the nitrogen molecules, these blue nitrogen molecules, they're no longer in the water, or they spend very little time in the water. So increasing that temperature, because the water sticks together, when we increase the temperature, we force much of the nitrogen out of the liquid. Let's go back to our graph. So as we come back to our graph, it should make sense now. As we increase the temperature, here's our solubility, increasing solubility. As we increase the temperature, something like oxygen, the amount, as the temperature increases, decreases. And that's because we heat that water up and it pushes the oxygen molecules out. Same for the nitrogen down here. Nitrogen, as we increase the temperature, the amount of nitrogen dissolved in the water, that decreases as well. So the solubility of gases will decrease as we increase the temperature. This is the opposite of what we see for solids that dissolve in water. For solids, as we increase the temperature, more of them dissolve. They become more soluble. So to recap, gases are soluble in water, and as we increase the temperature, that solubility decreases. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.